Apple's iPhone XS or XS Max and Samsung's Galaxy Note 9 have incredible processing power, and their benchmark scores are a result of that, especially the iPhones. But how do these scores translate to real-world speed in particular? We'll start with boot-up times where the Note 9 is slightly faster than the iPhone XS, but not by a margin that makes a significant difference. Next, to check how fast these phones can unlock, we've got the Note 9 set up with the fingerprint scanner, whereas the XS is rocking Face ID. It looks like the Note 9 is faster here too because the scanner on it is always active as opposed to the iPhone XS, where you need to press the power button for Face ID to work. Now, we'll check that both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi networks and are on their latest software. I'm also gonna set the iPhone camera to front facing because it oddly reverts back after a boot, but with that done, let's clear all background apps and start the test. With the iPhone's fluid gesture navigation, it starts to build up a small lead up until both phones reach Chrome to load GNTech's mobile website. Here we see the Note 9 jump to the lead. Onto the social media row, the Note 9 maintains the lead I talked about earlier, but the navigating experience just feels slightly smoother on the iPhone XS. General game loading times too felt a bit faster on the iPhone, but because of the Note 9's prior lead, it managed to finish them first and the last two system applications to record a first round time of 1 minute and 32 seconds. The iPhone on the other hand did the same in 1 minute and 36 seconds. The second round is obviously where RAM or memory gets Gets tested, and we know the Note 9's got 6GB versus the 4GB on the iPhone XS. But despite that, both the phones kept all applications in memory, which shows how well optimized iOS 12 is running on the iPhone XS. The Note 9's lead gradually shrunk in this round, and at the YouTube application, because of my accidental double click, the iPhone XS took the lead. And at the end, the iPhone finished the test in around the 2 minute and 8 second mark, even though the timer was stopped at 2 minutes and 10 seconds, while the Note 9 came in at 2 minutes and 11 seconds. While both phones in the real world will give you similar performance, because a difference of a few seconds could be due to human error and a variety of other factors, but the fact that the iPhone XS competes so well with the Note 9, despite having 2GB less of RAM, is pretty incredible. That being said, the Note 9 in the first round having beaten the iPhone shows how well equipped the Exynos 9810 processor on it is, and it can give Apple's new A12 Bionic CPU a run for its money. That wraps up this one, thank you guys for watching and make sure you subscribe to never miss out on future reviews and comparisons. I'll see you in the next one, adios.